So I noticed about two weeks ago, the battery level of my Tag Heuer Connected 2020 was dropping significantly. Uh, when I first grabbed it on seven o'clock in the morning, I remember it started from 100% or maybe 99% because normally if your battery is not performing very well, it doesn't go all the way to 100% and it dropped to uh, 93 to 94% within 10 minutes. And all I did was just checking the battery level. That's all, I wasn't doing any other stuff. So I thought this is not right. And three Three days in a row despite restarting my smartwatch um, I realized the battery runs out if I start from wearing it about seven o'clock about three or four o'clock in the afternoon it will just go dead so I decided to go to the Tag Heuer branch at Oxford Street and I was greeted by a very friendly security guard unfortunately they have to lock the door because you know London how unsafe it is to walk around with expensive stuff especially because of the um, replacement period, I was starting to wear my Tag Heuer Carrera 1887. And I remember one of the student, uh, college students saying that I must be a tourist because wearing this dangers me because London, you know, anyone could, you know, knife you and steal stuff from you for val valuable items and so on. Anyhow, after passing the security guard with a very warm welcoming, I was greeted by one of the staff and he was kindly treating me like a first class, listening to everything of what I've gone through and also asking whether I own others, um, Tag Heuer watch and so on. Uh, but um, he actually said that let's get this also diagnosed, send it to the repair center, get a quote, but he also said uh, my Tag Heuer Connected 2020 was valued after looking upon it for a few seconds, about 550 pounds. And you're also suggesting that you could get a brand new Tag Heuer replacement scheme where they also have a special discount period, which um, was start, rate, ranges started from 1,000 to about 1,600. Uh, or 1,800 pounds, and it was quite tempting, but I just first wanted to get a quote to see how expensive it will be. Now, I actually, actually expected that it's gonna be around two or 300 pounds, but when I received the quote, surprising enough, it was only, I would say only in my standard, 140 pounds, including VAT. So I could get the re uh, VAT return back from my limited company expenses and so on. So it only cost me 116 pounds and 67 pence. Somehow in the website, I remember uh, they're saying that this promotional period, the whole battery replacement is gonna be 85 pounds and Tag Heuer pride themselves for long use. That's what the impression they wanna to give to the customers and so on. But I was still happy with 140 pounds, including VAT. But what it actually mentioned was quite interesting. It says, Tag Heuer Connected Battery Exchange, which is exactly what I wanted, but also the battery and case back gasket replacement, replacement was also included. And also, this was the most amazing stuff. They updated the software. It says software updated, all inclusive, 140 pounds. Plus, on top of that, I've been given a case, carrier case, with a Tag Heuer logo on it as well. But if you're one of those who actually bought the strap, you will know that this with the case with Tag Heuer is actually going to be more worth than what you actually pay for for the replacement of the battery. So I got a really good deal. It makes me feel like a first class uh, citizen, first class member of Tag Heuer. And um, that's that is something that you can't get from Apple. I guess if you go to Apple trying to get your battery replaced, you have to register yourself holding up in the long queue uh, to get greeted by the staff and waiting for weeks and so on. Yes, this took me about two weeks, but after I made a payment, within a few days, they managed to get this back from the repair center. And here we have it, folks, and it looks beautiful. They clean up the whole thing. And also, if I were to turn it on, Yes, yeah, so I can't really see a significant change on the speed, maybe slightly more, but I've been explained by one of the staff that I collected from today that they upgraded from OS 1 to OS 2. I think the OS 3 is the latest software that you're going to get for the latest uh, Tag Heuer uh, smartwatch, but this is good actually, and um, especially what I love about Tag Heuer um, Connected 2020 or any of the um, Connected series now is that the variety of watch face that you can get with a authentic Tag Heuer logo on it. I'm currently using the Turbion uh, 
one with the green with the red and mixture of yellow and so on but you can still do many different sorts of uh, design like Carrera Dato, uh, Mirage and Chromatic and if we click on the other uh, we got Carbon, um, also the Classic, Eclipse, Formula One, Helios, I mean this is just brilliant, Holiday Season, <laughs> yeah, uh, Orbital and also the Porsche 2, Prism, Riverside, Solograph. I think Solograph will be quite cool. I don't know what this is about, but this also sounds and looks really simple and cool indeed with variety of colors that you can choose and so on. I guess that's why I've been wearing Tag Heuer uh, Connect 2020 straight uh, for almost four years. Next month is gonna be exactly four years since I own this. And if you think about it mathematically uh, with the value of it, I spent 1,000 pounds initially buying this smartwatch, okay? Uh, because I could claim the VAT was valued 1,200, I remember at that time. And then uh, after four years almost, um, I actually paid 116 pounds to get, get the battery replaced. So I reckon I could use another uh, four years. So that's gonna be eight years of use and I'm not gonna get bored with it, even though uh, it's gonna be the same mechanical stuff because the change of ever so changing of the watch face. And if I don't like the strap, I could also change the watch, uh, watch strap as well. I got the black, the metal version as well. And that's the beauty about Tag Heuer smart watch. I know a lot of people are gonna argue that the Apple uh, smartwatch has so many functions and yes, I agree, but sometimes you don't need to get all of those things. You just need to get the es essential function, which I really enjoy up on the um, Google Pay, but mainly it's about the quality and the uniqueness of the Tag Heuer uh, as well. Not many people wear this, and some of my argue is because it's too expensive. Yes, well, that, that makes me exactly unique. I don't want to wear something uh, that someone sitting next to me or many people around me are wearing the same thing and we're in a competition where uh, we, I got a better strap or better color and so on. I got a Tag Heuer while rest of the people, most of the people around me would have a other brand, but mainly on Apple smartwatch. And that makes me feel proud of myself, treating myself. I believe something that if you wear, you wanna really wear a proper one, not a fake one, bro, proper brand, like even smartphone as well. If you wanna get a smartphone, get a proper one, not one of those uh, things, because that degrades the quality of life if you have a third sort of quality, a really bad quality smartphone as well. That's why I treated myself, I think this is adequate for my standard and I just love the design as well. Again, thinking about the service side, it's very much worth of the value. And again, I also got the case as well, which I love it. I just love the brand Tag Hoya, and I think they're doing an excellent job, especially on the customer service, and I was really impressed. So I hope this video sort of helped you explain how aftercare service is from Tag Hoya if you own like, um, Apple smartwatch, I presume you're gonna wear it for three years for worth of 400 pounds and then another three years. So six years by now you have spent 800 pounds. So if you do the math, it's kind of similar-ish, I would say. Um, slightly more for Tag Heuer, but regards to the rest of the service and the quality of the treatment you get, I will definitely recommend for Tag Heuer. So well done, Tag. And if you guys are interested about this product, and how the after service works. I hope this video explained exactly what goes on. But if you have any queries, please do comment below. And thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best, bye-bye.